Hi, this is Olivia Blanchard, the brand builder. So since it's Friday, um, I thought we could wrap up the discussion that we've had all week about frequency, reach, and yield being really good metrics um, for planning and for uh, analytics when uh, dealing with, with bringing value to an organization that uh, is social media agnostic, maybe even marketing agnostic, and explaining to a business manager exactly what the value of this new thing can be to his business because most of them are not buying it yet. So frequency, reach, and yield, uh, or fry for short, like a French fry, it's memorable, they'll, they'll like that. Um, it essentially is gonna help you move the ball sales-wise and revenue-wise for a company in four different ways. First, you're gonna influence net new customers. So one of the things that you need to plan for and also measure over time to see if you're, if you're successful, if things are working, is how many net new customers are you gaining? They're really gonna like that. Um, that's probably the simplest measure of success of any kind of marketing related uh, endeavor. So the second one is depth. And, and again, it's, it's helping customers buy deeper into the product line. So if you have three products and one is a winner, the other two are not really selling a whole lot, this is one thing, or social media is one element that you could use to kind of grow that. So your customers won't buy any less of the winner product, but they'll start buying more of the other ones, uh, which is really good because that means more sale, more penetration, uh, and, and more relevance as a, as a brand as opposed to just one product. The third element that you're going to influence is the frequency. So again, getting customers to buy more often, even if they don't spend more even if they don't spend or start buying things that they weren't buying before, if they spend just a little bit more often, even if you change that by one day, uh, every 29 days as opposed to every 30 days, over time that can be big, big money for one of those managers. So it's very important to throw that one in there. And then the fourth one is, uh, is the yield, which is arguably a little bit more complicated um, and a little bit more difficult to impact, but it still needs to be there. And that's the average dollar amount per sale. So what you can use, and, and really with, with the conversations that you're gonna have, with the relationships that you're gonna build, uh, with the value that you're gonna increase um, between your customers and, and your company, over time you can get customers who, for example, might only spend uh, money on your, your entry-level products and, and get them to start buying into the more um, prosumer or even your premium products as a result of the, the value that they've gotten out of the relationship over time. Uh, th this is a, a really nice indicator or marker of increasing brand loyalty. Uh, so anyway, that, that's it. It's, it's very, very simple to articulate. And um, it took me, what, two minutes to just explain all this to you. Even if it takes 20 minutes or 30 minutes, being able to go into an office full of guys or, or ladies um, who don't believe in the value of social media and telling them about those four things that you're gonna be able to influence directly and measure and come back to them in a month, six months, a year, two years, and actually show a progression and an impact on sales is phenomenal. Right now, nobody else is doing this. Um, if you get how to do this, you will be one of the first social media experts, consultants, practitioners to actually do this in the field. Um, it's invaluable. Or, if you want to, you can hold on to your guns and only talk to them about conversations and relationships and, and building communities without talking to them about the dollar value and the impact on the ROI. If, if you want to go there, that's completely up to you. Um, but I really suggest that you take a balanced approach and really look at both sides of the coin and, um, and tailor your message and tailor your, your, your ROI discussion to the person that you're talking to and the problem that they're trying to solve. So I'm not being a social media heretic. I'm not throwing all of my eggs into the uh, let's make money basket. That's not the point. But if you want to get funding, if you want to get buy-in from the folks who don't believe in social media, this is really the way to do it. Uh, and, and you will get a lot of street cred within your organization and within the community uh, of social media and marketing uh, professionals for, for having been able to pull it off. All right, thanks a lot for uh, hanging out with uh, the Brand Builder blog this week. We'll do some more videos next week about planning, I think. Uh, but in the meantime, have a great weekend, and uh, thanks a bunch for listening.